guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new, hello, my name is Dana. I upload three times a week on this channel, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, so if you guys would like to join the family, just be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys are wondering, no video went up on Sunday, you would know if you followed me on Snapchat and Twitter. It was Super Bowl Sunday, I just wanted to hang out with my boys, and to be completely honest, I was busy like eating my weight in buffalo chicken dip. What is it with that stuff? Like, I cannot stop. If it's like, one of my favorite foods, which says a lot about me considering it's like completely crappy for you, but it's so good. Anyways, I did a Twitter poll, I think on either Thursday or Friday, asking you if you guys would rather see a full coverage drugstore foundation routine or a haul. Pretty much everyone said a haul, so I'm really excited about this one because it's kind of just like a mixture of random things. A lot of products that I really haven't heard too, too many people talk about as well as some newer products. So there's Sephora, Ulta, and then a Tam Beauty. Some of these products I have like mentioned in a full like review, but just in case you guys didn't catch those, I still thought they were worth mentioning so that I threw them in here. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Sephora. I actually placed an online order, but I ended up having to return something. I hate doing returns, but it just didn't work out for me at all. So I ended up returning it and getting these two products here. Recently, my friend Laura, Mrs. Lola Lynn here on YouTube, she gave me her bottle of Dior Air Flash and she said it just didn't work out on her skin. I ended up loving it. So I thought it would be interesting to do like a half and half review. I'm sure it's been done before, but I was really kind of curious for myself. So I picked up the Sephora in-house brand of the Perfection Mist Airbrush Foundation. I grabbed mine in medium. I think there was only like maybe six to eight, five to eight shades of this available. This was $28 and you get 2.5 fluid ounces. So if you guys would like to see a foundation routine with this or that Dior like kind of comparison video, let me know down in the comments. I've used this one so far and I really do like it. And then I grabbed two more products. This I actually ordered online and it looks completely different in person. I have like a burp coming. I can't make up its mind. I apologize. Um, this looks way lighter in person than it did on the website. I don't know if this product is being discontinued or if they're just kind of like upping the packaging, but this is the, once again, Sephora in-house brand Sculptor, just kidding, contour powder um, in number 24 Los Cabos. Online, this looked like it was going to be a little bit closer to Hoola, so I was really interested in trying it, but as you can see in the pan, it's way, way lighter. Um, sometimes though, finger swatches don't tell the full story. Maybe it'll go on really nicely. Either way, I'm still going to give it a try. I think online this ended up being like seven or eight dollars on sale. There was one shade deeper, but it was sold out. So I got this, and then I also grabbed this highlighter palette in store, which I'm already really impressed by this. This was also $28, and you get a ton of product. So this is the Sephora Illuminate Luminizing Palette, and inside you get six shades here. I was looking at the Anastasia Highlighting Palette, or was it? I know, I'm guessing maybe I just thought of that when I saw this, but I've actually kind of heard lots of mixed reviews on that. I know a lot of people love the Gleam palette and the Glow palette, but then their recent palette, they said that the formula felt a lot different. Did you guys see Nicole Guerrero? It's like a highlighting palette. That's what her collab is with Anastasia. I'm so excited for that. But in here you get six large highlighters. I'm actually wearing this on my cheeks right now. I'm wearing a mixture of this really light gold and then this pink right here. These are so nice. And for $28, I feel like you can't beat that. So I think I really wanna do like a full face um, look using all Sephora brand products. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. Let me know if any of you guys have picked this up yet and what you think. I'm really excited about it so far. And then I also, random, um, I got a sample of the Clarins Hydra Essential Moisturizes and Quenches Silky Cream. This and then the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes. You know Sephora.com always has like random weekly specials, so this one I think was for two deluxe size skincare products, which I think those are always nice to have on hand. So that was really all that I got from Sephora. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move on to Ulta now. So the first three products are products that I mentioned earlier that I've already done full reviews of. So if you guys haven't caught those yet, I'll go ahead and leave the little info clicky button right here. This is the Ultra Eye Contour Light and Shade Palette. I believe this was $15.99. And when I got it, Makeup Revolution was doing buy one, get one half off. That seems to be a really common sale with them. If you have the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, then I'm sure this looks very, very familiar. The pans are smaller, but the color range and like setup is identical. So in that video, I basically did like one side using all Kat Von D and then the opposing side using this palette. So you can really see how these perform. And I also did a video on these here. This is also from Makeup Revolution. It's the Retro Luxe 
matte lip kit. On Ulta site, there's five available, but on Tan Beauty, which I'm going to mention shortly, there's eight shades. So I'm actually wearing the lip liner in Noble right now. I lined and filled my lips with that. And then on top of it, just because I felt like I wanted something a little bit deeper, I'm wearing Maybelline's, one of their new into matte lipsticks in, what is that one called? I think Brown Blush. That is hands down my favorite shade in that collection. Those lipsticks are so good. These are only $9 a piece and inside you get a liquid lipstick, which is actually larger than the ColourPop ones and then a full size lip liner. So I thought that was a total steal. If you guys want to hear my full thoughts on these liquid lipsticks, I will have the video listed right here. Okay, now on to other products that I haven't really talked too much about yet, except for this one. I think I featured this in a video like months and months ago, but I needed to replenish it. So this is the L'Oreal Boosted High Lift Creation Spray. I need to hurry up and just get over it and shell out the $45 for the Orbe Dry Texturizing. I think it's just Dry Texture Finishing Spray. I love that stuff. It's stupid expensive, but it's so freaking good. And I keep trying to like finish my other hair products before repurchasing that. And I need to realize like, instead of just buying cheaper things over and over again, like I need to just get that because Sometimes the higher end products like nothing really compares and that's one of them I have yet to be able to find like a perfect dupe for that product But I do still really like this and I definitely think this is a great product for like the price point I want to say this is like $5.99 $6.99 something like that But if you're familiar with the Redken back comb in a bottle I think that's what it's called. It's pretty similar. So this I'll just kind of grab a section of hair give it a spritz <coughs> That's another side now if it does get in your mouth, like what just happened to me, it actually doesn't taste that bad. It kind of reminds me of like if you were to get like powdered sugar on your tongue, it has this really weird sweet taste. But on like clean hair days, if I go in with dry shampoo and I still don't have like enough grit and texture, that was a lot in my mouth. I'm like still inhaling the fumes. <coughs> Um, this is a good job of just adding something in there without making my roots feel sticky. Okay, also from Ulta, I got this. This is another, there's a lot of makeup revolution in this haul. It's just a brand that's really caught my eye lately. This is the Golden Bar Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette. The name is a little bit deceiving. It says contain 16 shimmer and matte shades. I haven't swatched all the shades, but just upon first glance, all the shades look pretty shimmery to me. The gold that's on my lid right now is actually gold that's in this palette, but look at the packaging. Isn't this so cute? It just looks like a Hershey's bar that's like dripping in gold. I dig it. So inside, the setup is very similar to like the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes. Like you have these larger bar shades and then these smaller little rectangles here, but this gold is so nice. But see what I mean? A lot of these look like maybe not full on metallics, but I would say every single one at least looks like some sort of satin slash metallic shade. So I'll go ahead and give you guys some swatches here, but let me know if you guys wanna see a full video on this palette. Like I said, I've just been really interested in trying more Makeup Revolution products lately. Plus the packaging of that, it was just so cute, I couldn't resist. Okay, and then also from Ulta, they recently started selling e.l.f. online. I think this is online only, at least as of right now. I haven't seen an e.l.f. in any of my local Ulta stores. I realized I could have just ordered these from Ulta or got them at Target, or I'm sorry, I could have ordered them from e.l.f. But to be completely honest, I've kind of gotten a little bit salty with e.l.f.'s website lately, because you'll get these super deceiving emails that are like, 40% off site-wide, you know, like keyword site-wide, and then you get to the site and it's basically like excludes all new releases or some brushes I'm like well that's not site wide then so just being bitter Betty I was like okay well I need to get free shipping so I just ordered a couple of these from Ulta because I really want to start finding more affordable brush options for you guys and I don't own any of these and they looked awesome so first up this is the ultimate blending brush when I saw this oh it's a little bit flatter than I thought I thought it was gonna be a true round top maybe it just needs to puff up I thought this would be awesome with like liquid foundation or some of like my liquid bronzers when I really want to go in and buff them out this one may be better because it's like dense but it's still a little bit like loose and fluffy so that one is the ultimate blending brush I want to see how it compares to this one I also got this selfie ready foundation brush yeah see something a little bit this is I know those look pretty similar but in person this one seems like it's a bit more dense with kind of like more of like a poof shape. So I thought this would be great with like the A Cosmetic CC Cream or some of my lighter liquid foundations. So I got that one and then I also got the Flawless Face Brush. Let's see what this guy looks like. I have several e.l.f. eye brushes but I really don't have too many of the face brushes. You know what used to be my jam back in the day though was that flat top e.l.f. brush like when the studio line first released. 
That mixed with the Rimmel Stay Matte powder was like holy grail status for me. So here's a flawless face brush. This one, as you can see, isn't quite as round as these others, but these look like some pretty good brushes. I'm excited to use those. If you guys have a favorite e.l.f. brush, let me know down in the comments. Then I grabbed a couple pairs of these Ardell Studio Effects Demi Wispy lashes. Now, these are different than the typical Demi Wispies. These are basically Demi Wispies, except for on the last, like I would say, well, I guess like the outer half of it, they've added individual lashes. So then you have this really like nice voluminous cat eye effect right here on the outer section. So I really like the Demi Wispies because if you have smaller hooded eyes like myself, sometimes your eyeballs can get like lost in these huge lashes that like house of lashes, velour lashes, don't get me wrong. I have some favorites in those lash lines, but it's really hard to find like good ones that fit my eyes. So Demi Wispies are affordable and I know they fit my eyes. If you're a fan of the Demi Wispies, these are definitely worth checking out if you just want a little bit more drama love those okay and then i just got a couple more things here from ulta i grabbed this randomly i have a couple of cats not cats <laughs> a couple of products i'm actually allergic to cats random i know a couple of products from jcat beauty that i really like and i don't have any of their blushes so i thought this was kind of cute this is the love struck glam glow powder i got mine in the shade 110 babe i was a little bit disappointed i probably should have showed you this before i swatched it but the cat is just an overspray which actually ended up being a good thing because when I swatched the shimmery side it was pretty intense but the actual like base color is really nice it's just kind of like a deep like dusty rose but it's something that is wearable every day because you can go in really light-handed or if you want to deepen it up it builds up really nicely this was super affordable as well I think jcat beauty is definitely an overlooked brand I personally love their I think it's like triple baked crown eyeshadows it's like five six maybe even four dollars the shade dolce de leche makes the best affordable highlighter ever i love it speaking of highlighters i got this and i don't know how i feel about this i've worn it on my face once i'm gonna have to try it again and like layer it over a what is it um what is this hand motion i'm like envisioning myself pumping the bottle a liquid highlighter because on its own it's a very subtle natural highlighter which i know a lot of people like so if you're not a fan of like the really foiled like gilded metallic highlighter this may be a good option for you but i'm pretty sure ulta accidentally sent me the wrong shade i'm almost positive i ordered like the gold or bronze one but this is the revolution strobe highlighter in the shade at moon moon glow lights and it's really pretty in the pan it just has like this really like pillowy wavy type of effect but when I swatch it it's more of like a natural satin type of highlight I don't know I'm gonna play with it some more and keep you guys updated but so far kind of like mur, mur, on that one and then the very final product I got from Ulta this is like an oldie I've heard so many people talk about this in the past and I've never tried it physicians formula was buy one get one half off so I had purchased the insta ready concealer which I used in my um full face of first impressions using drugstore products love that concealer so so good if you're looking for a good drugstore concealer i think i already put it up but it's the physician's formula insta ready full coverage concealer it comes with like this little mini micro beauty blender looking type of sponge that's total garbage but the concealer is really good so i got that and then for the half off i grabbed the eye booster i feel like i have something in my throat out <laughs> two-in-one brush tip eyeliner and serum the packaging of this is so nice I like it just nice and chrome I remember back in the day everyone talked about this and then the Jessie's girl eyeliner which I've yet to try but I'm excited to try this one so we'll see how that goes okay and then everything else here is from tambeauty.com if you've never heard of that site it's a UK based site slash brand so shipping is expensive i think it's like 11.95 but if you spend 75 dollars or more then you get free shipping so obviously i'm like that meme where it's like oh five dollars or spend like 65 more dollars and get free shipping i know don't ask so i grabbed a couple of products the first thing that i stocked up on i actually ordered four of these these are the hashtag pro artist professional london refillable empty magnetic palette i left the box down there i think this is from the brand of freedom makeup on tambeauty.com there's makeup revolution i heart makeup freedom makeup and then a couple of other brands but those seem to be the top three these were i want to say seven or eight dollars and the main reason i ordered them is because it comes with a full-size mirror inside which is nice so you can just throw in like your eyeshadows your blushes your bronzers whatever you have that's like in a normal magnetic pan and pop it right in here and then just travel with this the packaging is nothing special i do kind of wish it was just solid black but i mean honestly who cares if it's like holding all of my stuff it is like a nice heavy palette 
So I just used my label maker. I know, nothing special, but I just labeled mine ColourPop. That way I would know what was in here when it's just laying in my drawer. So inside you can fit 18 of the new ColourPop pressed shadows. So this one kind of houses my more neutral shades, and then this one here has more of the smoky colors. I'm sure this will probably fill up quick too. If ColourPop releases pressed shadows like they do all their other products, and I'm sure they're constantly going to be like releasing more and more shadows. And then I grabbed this palette from iHeart Makeup. As you can see, the packaging is pretty much identical to the Makeup Revolution one. It's another palette that looks like a chocolate bar. And these are basically straight up dupes of the Sweet Peach Too Faced palette. I think this was around the $17 range. But as you can see, mine came broken. I don't know if like... It just went through a lot, like getting shipped because the mirror came shattered. Luckily, it came off in big pieces and not tons of like shattered, broken pieces of glass to where I still feel okay using um, the shadows because there was also this little plastic sleeve. I went through and grabbed the pieces to make sure everything like fit like a puzzle. That way, there wasn't like a loose piece of glass that ends up like shanking my eyeball. But I contacted Tan Beauty, they were like really quick to respond. And they offered either like I could wait till where they restock these or just get a full refund on like the broken product. So I just got a refund of this right away. So overall, good customer service. I was bummed that it came broken, but it happens. So as you can see, the layout is pretty darn identical to the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I'll give you guys some swatches of this one. I haven't really used it on my eyes yet. I've only really gone through and swatched it. But I kind of want to do another one of those like half and half looks. I don't know. Those are fun for me. Let me know what you think. If it's not really your thing, then we can always skip out on that video and do something else. But I still thought it was something cool to check out. Okay, and then finally, I guess this is the last thing. It was hot in the bottom of the box. Okay, I grabbed another product from the brand I Heart Makeup a couple videos back. Which was it? I don't know if it was the Makeup Revolution lip product video that I did or the Stila one, but I was mentioning where I was like, oh, I found a new highlighter and I love it and it's super affordable. It was this. This is the I Heart Makeup Golden Goddess Triple Baked Highlighter. I want to get more of these. They have like three to four different shades as well as like blushes and bronzers. The packaging is very similar to the, apparently they really look up to Too Faced or straight up copycats, but I mean, I'm still interested in trying it, so I'm not going to hate. Um, but the Sweetheart blushes, the packaging isn't quite as like sturdy, but look at this highlighter. How much product do you get? 10 grams of highlighter, and I think this was like around $6. This highlighter is stunning. It's like a super light, like yellow gold, but like the sheen you get with this, your highlighter is just like ba bam I love it. One that I really wanted was sold out, so I have like an email notification to grab it, but seriously, like $6 for this much highlighter and the highlighter is good, I'm about that life. So I was really excited about this. And then this one was kind of a random purchase. I think this was like what I purchased to like push myself over or like get to that $75 price point to where I could get free shipping. Um, this is the I Heart Makeup Explicit Content 36 Indulgent Super Pigmented Eyeshadows. The packaging is super lame, so it just says like, Explicit content, parental advisory, but the packaging is kind of cool. It reminds me of the whole Smashbox thing, but the shadows did not let me down. Some of them are kind of like crumbly, like to the touch, some of them feel a bit powdery, but they apply so, so creamy, especially these metallics right here, like in this. Whoa, I gouged my nail on that. And these two columns here, they remind me a lot of the texture of the makeup or not Makeup Forever, Makeup Geek foil shadows to where they're like really, really like you have to be gentle with them, but then they just go on like butter. Like these are those. I'm gonna swatch some of the golden shades for you guys. <gasps> so pretty. This blue right here, if you're ever wanting to like intensify purple, this blue works perfect. So yeah, it's kind of like dingy looking, but it had good reviews on the site. So I was like, I'm gonna check it out. And I mean, I have no regrets. I was pretty excited about it. Let me know if you guys have tried out any of these products, what you think of them. Also, what other videos you guys want to see this week. My parents are coming in town on Thursday from Florida. I'm so excited. I love family time. But yeah, that is it for this one. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on Thursday. Bye!